Okay, my name is Thomas Sargent. I'm um, from California. I, I do economics. Um, I love economics because it's a well. If first you pick up the newspaper, and two thirds of it's about economics. Uh, I love history. I like math. I like um, you know. I like I like um, you know. I like to try to kind of think I'm in something that can help people. Um, try to make governments and markets better for helping people. Um, I had people in my family who were unemployed or wiped out by the depression and I saw how they suffered and I, I, I want to see if I can make things better. So that's corny but it's true. That's good. Would you say there's something specific in your background that, that made you choose this as a career? Now that's, that's always hard. I think you have some destiny, you know, and you... Um, I think when you're a young person, you're going to school or something, you're... Um, that's why it's, it's an adventure being young, because there are all these possibilities, and then um, uh, and then you do... you try various things, and then you discover something, for me, you fall in love with, and it becomes a passion, and it's... Um, and then it gets... the more you do it, the more beautiful it becomes, so it's... it's... Um, and, and actually, if... To be a, a scientist or social scientist, it's like you never have to grow up. You're always like you know. You, you do play computer games. I get I get to do things more fun in computer games because like the the models that we built, we use math and we use, I use computers like, and and push them to the limit, and um, you can do marvelous things. And you can actually use them to, um, you know, you help explain what's going on out there. And um, you're just like solving puzzles all the time. Uh, so it's like a, just a stream of puzzles and challenges. And it's, um, every day it's something new. And it's, it's very exciting. It keeps you young. You know? um, would you point to someone special for you in, in uh, mentoring or helping to, to choose the, the field of research you do? Sure. Like in, so my grandfather... Um, when I was a little boy, he got me interested in history really early, a little bit of economics. My father used to argue over the dinner table about economics all the time. He had his own theories, you know, tell me how the economy was put together, yelling about it. That was got me interested because I wanted to learn more about it. Some of his theories weren't so good, I've learned, but, you know, it really got you interested, you know. So, so they're not useful today the theories your grandfather had? Oh, my grandfather. My grandfather's... Well, my, well, my grandfather... So my grandfather didn't go to college. Okay. Um, but he was an educated man. He... he uh, so when I was a little boy, I remember, I was about four or five years old, he put me on his lap, took a book that was in Latin, about... in Latin. And it was a history book from like 1600. And he translated it, read it to me, and it was about a, a, a voyage of Magellan. And I'm a little kid, I didn't think any, you know, but just made this voyage come alive. I mean, he took me to movies, like treasure, historical movies, Treasure Island, and um, got me really fired up about history, and I love history, and I think he, he got me inspired. I didn't think it was, I actually, when I was in school, I didn't take history courses because I learned it all from, you know, he, from him and then from reading on my own. In college I avoided history class because I didn't want to make a something that was so fun, you know, <laughs> that's something I have to take a test in. So he got me interested. In Economics is a way of kind of putting structure on history and learning. You know. yeah, that's, okay. that's wonderful. I love Wikipedia. But. Uh, that's even more wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>